what is up what is up what is up fs club seasons is out guys as you guys can tell right here right now i'm actually using the snowy lands geo and i just want to show off this just a little bit there is a bug on here i am on the ps4 i heard it's just for the ps4 uh but like i'm gonna show it basically okay snowy lands try to buy the some of the stuff on the howard snowpack i'll show you exactly what it does let's click that Let's lease that. See, that works just fine. But then, okay, see I just messed up right there for a second? I'll go back, try to do it again. Okay, now it's working just for a second. There we go, as you see. An error has occurred in the following application. It only does it whenever I have Snow, Snow Geo activated. So, uh, let's just click that off. So, I highly suggest do not have Snow Geo activated just for right now. Okay, let's get back into it. Okay, here we are. Let's go to the mod section where you can find this is go to show all mod and there it is right there. So right now this is bugged right here. Uh, hopefully they do fix that soon, but I am deleting that just for right now. Okay, we also got the Hauer snow pack. Uh, let's see, snow removal tools from Hauer, spread salt, remove small layers of snow. Salt does not work on deeper snow. Use a snow plow to move around any snow. We have the Howard TS215 salt spreader, which is 12,000. Uh, let's see, working with is four meters and container volume is 1,500. Also the Howard SRS3 snow plow with adjustable blade, 16,000, max working speed is 25 and working width is three meters. So make sure you guys go ahead and install that. And then the big one, Seasons. But for Seasons to work guys, you guys have to make sure that your farming simulator is updated guys. So glow right there. See if you check right over here. Update history. See support of the seasons mod. Okay, so go right there. Uh, seasons right to there. Winter is coming and spring, summer, and autumn too. Uh, I'm just, pretty much everybody knows what seasons is. Pretty much changes everything. But the release notes. Uh, console release. Grass growth has been updated to fix second year growth. Uh, new animal screen in the seasons menu with more detail. Old screen has been removed. Animals now have, the, have a name, number, so you can identify them easier. Uh, fixes for some special cases with maps and other mods. Fix for massive amounts of snow in special cases. Fixes for the weather, weather generation freezing gameplay. Improved weather generation. Added snow contracts need map support. So far, no map has no snow contracts, but I already talked to Oxy and he said that he thinks that his Sandy Bay will have snow contracts, but uh, Shamrock or Lone Oak do not have uh, snow contracts. No map has them yet. Uh, improved helper AI and fixed crop rotation effects. So that is the mods so far we've gotten today, which is including seasons, of course. Okay, a uh, little bit stuff. Let's see. There's a few maps on here that actually has season support. Whenever I mean season support, it means like the snow mask and stuff. So snow won't be coming inside of your houses or your sheds. Uh, let's see, um, bales will rot, that's what I mean by season support. I know Westbridge Hills has it, uh, Shamrock has it, Sussex has it, I believe Green Ridge has it, uh, Old Farm Countryside has it, I think Green River does, um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure it does. Uh, let's see, uh, Welker's Farm may have it, um, Let's see, uh, let me see if I see any other ones. RDC does not have it. Uh, I think that's about it. Of course, Lone Oak has it. Welcome to Ireland has it. Uh, yes, okay, so what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be basically giving you guys a little bit of pointers and a little bit more information about seasons. Uh, but this is just basically a first look on seasons, guys. I'll be putting out a how-to guide on everything with seasons, probably either later on today or tomorrow, guys. So let's get into Lone Oak and I'll show you guys more about Seasons. Okay, here we are. Seasons has been activated. As you guys can see, every time you start Seasons on a new save, you will start in early spring, guys. Early spring. Okay, how do you get to all the Season menu stuff? Okay, what you do is you hold down your L1 or LB on the Xbox or the PlayStation, and then you, hold, you push the Start button in, or the Menu button, whatever it's called, Options. And there you go right there. The first menu you are... Walking by is, of course, the calendar, guys. Uh, the green stuff shows where your planting seasons are, and yellow is whenever your harvest seasons are. And you see the temperatures right there? That is the temperatures that you can actually start planting them. If it's below that, do not start planting, guys. It will fail. 
it will fail to germinate and you won't have nothing growing on there okay so there is that like right now it is let's see ground temperature is around 39 degrees so the only thing i could really seed right now is basically grass and that is it also these will change when you use geos guys geos are kind of like an expansion two seasons uh, you can only have one geo activated at a time and it changes basically what you can grow what you can't grow stuff like that like with the regular seasons right now you cannot grow no sugarcane and i believe no cotton either you have to have a special geo for that okay so there is that next menu uh forecast this is the weather forecast it shows you five days guys so i got today tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday and sunday uh, you got the maximum temperature average temperature and the minimum temperature you get how much precipitation you're expecting the percentage of precipitation also wind speed yes there is wind speed and that wind speed affects your drying potential if you have a plus that means it's good time for drying like drying grass uh if it's a minus it means it's not a very good time i believe zero means just basically normal uh of course forecast is uncertain uncertainty increases with time uh, okay so there's that one next menu you have is your crop info this is your frost resistance and drought resistance uh, as you guys can see, the potential for frost damage increase as air temperatures fall below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is freezing. Uh, potential for drought damage increases when the soil water content is below 12%. Use the measurement tool to monitor the soil water content. Okay, as you guys can see right there, these will also change with the GO2. Uh, the measurement tool they were talking about, you can go in here, go all the way over to tools, miscellaneous, Yes, I got a lot of mods. There it is right there, the MT9, which is one slot, guys, $5,000. So let's go ahead and buy it. And how you use it, okay, just like you use, uh, say, the um, say the saw, the chainsaw. You push up on the directional pad, and there it is right there. Now let's go to a field like this one right here. You hold down the O key, or the B on uh, Xbox, and there it is, all your information right there. Uh, it tells you how wet they are, how much grown it is, 33%, all that good stuff. The moisture level, all that. Uh, it even does it for, I believe, let's go over here. I think it does it for vehicles, too. I think it does it for pretty much everything. There it is right there. See, diesel, 79%. I mean, 79. See, it tells you how much diesel is in there. I believe also with harvesters and stuff, if you do it like that, it will also tell you how much is in there. Uh, stuff like that. Okay, let's go back to that seasons menu. Uh, animals, this is actually a new screen. It was completely different with the base uh, seasons. Uh, like this way better. See, let's see. Uh, let's go over here. Let's buy some chickens real quick, and I will show you guys. Okay, let's, so let's buy a few chickens. And there we go. Just a few, right? And if you go all the way up here, see right there where it shows that red right there, that means they aren't very healthy. Healthy. Uh, you have conditions, cleanness, wheat, barley, eggs, how much is the estimated food required per year. It even tells you their age, their weight. Uh, next animal, if you go all the way over, there's the list of every single one right there. See, because they are young right now. See, it tells you actually how many I have, 19. So that, I like the way they have this now. A lot better. It tells you male, females. Okay. Yes, also animals have completely changed too, guys. You actually got, you know, breeds. See, like there, those had breeds. And if you go over here. See, we got Limousine, Ishire, Saler, Holstein, and Brahmin. I will tell you guys about all of the breeds and stuff later on in the video. Remember, this is just a first look, guys. Okay, so that's that. Then we have the economy. Just like in FS17, uh, your economy will fall basically how much ever you sell and also whatever season it is in. Uh, so like wheat is best time to sell it pretty much at the beginning of winter. Uh, and then like canola is best time to sell it at autumn. Uh, soybeans, summertime. And like say like... Um, Let's see, where's wool at? Like wool, basically springtime is the best time to sell. Spring in the end of winter. Wood chips, definitely winter, because everybody needs to keep warm. See, stuff like that. So you gotta pay attention to your uh, basically cells and stuff. Even, even goes with animals, guys. Best time to sell animals. 
Okay, the next one we have is a crop rotation planner. And basically what this is, is basically another way to boost your crops. Uh, say like you go over to, let's see, this field right over here. If I can make it over here. Okay, see how it says grass right there? It says previous was root. So basically it was a root crop before. So if we go over here, go to uh, there, rock uh, rotation crop uh, plan A. So let's put it as it was root earlier. So let's just put any kind of root really could. Okay, sugar beets, and then right now it is grass. See right there, so it's 95.95. That means next time if you want to, you can sit there and make it follow. Or if you do weeds, you'll get an extra boost of 1.14. So you get that little boost right there. And you can set up four rotations on here. I'll go more into that later on. Okay, the next screen you have is of course your setting screen. You can have it under, under as Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, you have season introductions on or off. So basically every time you go into a season, it'll give you like an introduction. Uh, seasons length, you have all the way from 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 days, all the way to 24 days. I mostly play like around with 6 days. You have crop moisture. If you turn this off, disallow threshing when crops have excessive moisture of 20%. So basically, if crops are wet, you cannot, you cannot basically uh, harvest them until it's under 20%. Uh, you'll actually get an icon on the top. Uh, snow tracks, vehicles can press snow when driving over it, and then you got the snow mode, which snow will fall in cold winters and block roads. Uh, so there is that stuff about seasons. Also, if you guys need more information about seasons, you can go to the start menu, go all the way over here to the help, and if you go all the way down, might take me a minute. Sugarcane, making money, shop, miscellaneous. Seasons right here. See, there's a big O. There's a whole bunch of help stuff right here. I will be posting out a bunch of videos on seasons this week, so hopefully, you guys, do stay tuned in for that. Yeah, see, uh, we had problems with our snowpack. I'll check it out, make sure it doesn't work on the other. So let's do that. Yeah, see, already it's looking a lot better. Cut it again. Yeah, see. It's working perfectly fine now. Also, let's uh, let's click on this real quick. Get that out. Okay, uh, let's see. That one is actually one slot, and that is one slot two. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, where you can find the salt for this right here. Or actually, this is two slots, three slots, two, three slots. Where you can find the salt, go over here to pallets. Well, objects, go over to big bags. All the way at the end, the road salt big bag is thousand two slots. It is one thousand nine hundred twenty dollars, and this is what you use to basically put in your salt spreader right there. Okay, so that is everything with seasons. Well, at least a first look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are playing with it. Uh, just let me know. Remember, I'll be posting a lot more videos later on. Remember, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have not sudden, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all day, farmers. Peace. Yeah.